Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a, a moment that I thought would never would never happen in my wildest dreams when I first started doing this. This is my 700th review. Um, got kind of a, and 13, over 1300 subscribers, I'm, I'm amazed. And you guys are incredible, so thanks for everybody. Uh, I got one that, uh, pretty special, I think this is a special occasion, at least for me. And I think this one uh, will be special. Well, this is definitely special for me, and it might be for you. Uh, uh, one from Boulevard. Um, they put out every year, but it's different every year, so it's got a different number every year. I was fortunate enough to get to try the uh, the second one, the number two, but uh, never, unfortunately, got to try uh, one or three. But uh, this is their love child. Number four just appeared on the shelves. Um, I got two bottles. I probably it's uh, $17.99 a bottle, $18 a bottle. Um, so unless it's it's like a 15 out of 10, I probably won't buy another. But I got at least one to try now, and then one to one to sit back and age a little bit because this is one of those that's gonna gonna really age well, I think. Um, from the website, it says. Uh, they call it a barrel-aged wild ale. It's almost a goose, I think, because it's a blend of different uh, different ages of beer. Um, it says availability, uh, 750 mil bottles only. It says Boulevard's Love Child series of wild ales are barrel-aged with such boisterous cultures as Lactobacillus and Bretomyces. These wayward offspring can prove so complex that we employ gauges on the label to convey the intensity of three personality traits. Funk, sour, and fruit, presenting a picture of the ale at the time it was released. It will change as, we, as it ages, but don't we all? <clears throat> don't, don't I know that? Oak barrels were used to age the majority of beer used for Love Child Number 4, with beer aged from 16 months to nearly 6 years. Another portion of the beer spent 11 months in stainless tanks, souring on lactobacillus. While very tart, the sourness is short-lived, and the beer finishes dry with a trace of oak. 9% uh, ABV, almost no hops, 8, B, 8 IBUs. Um, there's the gauges on the, on the label. I don't know if you're going to be able to read those or not. Um, but it's not really, there's really no number, so. But it's got funk, sour, and fruitiness, so. Uh, like I said, it's almost a goose. Um, Something tells me this uh, cork will pop fairly easily. Thanks to thanks to uh, Matt, who was the former uh, former Boulevard rep for this area, uh, he brought me a, a bottle of the number two, so I got to taste and review that a couple years ago. But at least now, our new manager in the store, in the local store, is uh, he's actually got something going on and. Uh, knows what he's doing and I told him about this last week and lo and behold we got some this week so nice pop ton of smoke wasn't as much as I was expecting but never know I'm gonna use my Boulevard smokestack series chalice here big bottle 750 mil bottle uh, 9 percent I'm just gonna do one glass cork it, seal it up, and uh, finish it at home at my leisure. Yeah, we go. Oh, wow, that's that's beautiful. Uh, and I can smell it already. Uh, yeah, it's a, kind of a reddish brown, tan head. A uh, couple fingers of a, like a light tan. Uh, somewhere between tan and eggshell white. Uh, uh, head. Uh, oh, by the way, you probably hear the the cicadas. Uh, they're off in the distance. They're not. Uh, they're not in this area so much where I'm at. And you're definitely going to hear some thunder. It's been a it's been a stormy day, and there's a lot of thunder off in the distance. So storms are moving in, but uh, really nice reddish brown uh, beer. Uh, seems to be a a good deal of carbonation streaming up. So. Let me get a nose on this. I've been looking forward to this, well, for the last, well, last two years. It's been two years since I've had one of these. 
Uh, this one, um, like I said, it's um, every every year is different, and uh, this is number four. So if you see it, um, I'd recommend picking it up. Um, I think 18 bucks is a little pricey, but we'll see what we're getting here. Um, they're all different, and you won't see this one again. Next year, you'll see a love child number five. Hopefully, I will too. But uh, anyway, let's get a nose. Oh, wow, that smells. Oh, that smells good. If you like sours, oh, that's ambrosia. Um, getting that soured fruit, uh, the cherry, really tart cherry. Getting a little bit of the vanilla and oak from the barrels. Um, some uh, tart vinegar and wine like qualities. Um, Slight funky smell, probably from the bread. A uh, little lemon, some sour apple. Uh, again, a lot of oak and some pepper. Just a really, really nice uh, smelling uh, wild ale. I'm going to dig into this right now. Oh, wow. There's a very strong sour fruit tartness. Um, some vanilla, just a, just a hint of some caramel sweetness, but it doesn't overcome that um, overcome that tartness at all. It's uh, cherry, lemon, uh, moderate, moderately sour. It's, I mean, it's, that first sip is uh, yeah. And now that my mouth is sort of getting used to it, um, it's not quite so bad now. But uh, boy, that first sip really hits you. There's there's a lot of sourness there. Some nice uh, oak tannins in there. Um, like I said uh, apple cider, like apple cider vinegar, the cherry, the the nice uh, tannic oak, um, vinegar, lemons. Uh, it's it's sour. It's definitely sour, and it's really good. I'll tell you if you like sours. Um, there are some spice and pepper notes in there, but they're uh, uh, they're receded more in the background. It's a uh, really crisp, uh, really well, really, uh, really well carbonated uh, mouthfeel. Um, a medium light bodied, uh, and like I said, high carbonation. Uh, but wow, it's really nice. The finish is really, really tart and dry too, and but it's a clean finish. It uh, goes right away, so. I'm just going to add a little bit more to this glass. Oh, wow, I like this a lot. And I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been uh, 20 minutes or so. It wasn't quite as long as I wanted to wait, but um, thunder's getting closer, and I'm starting to see some lightning strikes now, so I think we're in for some uh, some more stormy weather. Hopefully no, no tornadoes. We're under a tornado watch till tomorrow sometime. So it's these are gonna last a long time. Um, yeah, is, is this warmed up? I, those whiskey notes are coming out a little bit more, but they're still kind of mild and subdued in the background. But uh, they're coming out a little bit more. But uh, for a sour ale, um, this is damn near perfection. Um, I think I even at 18 bucks a bottle, I think I'm gonna go buy a couple more. Uh, one for one to share and. Uh, want to share sometime in the near future and uh, another one to set back for a couple three years um, I think I like about Boulevard they've got the best buy dates on it and they got a best buy date of uh, 3 2016 so two years and I'm sure this will last uh, three or four years five six seven years nine percent ABV um, all the Boulevard beers are uh, are uh, bottle condition so it's going to continue to mellow and age and you know there's there's no filtering there's no pasteurizing there's nothing but uh, Boulevard and if any of you have been my subscribers for a long time you know I love Boulevard beers and especially the Smokestack series and they've hit a home run uh, seriously um, I'm trying not to give out so many tens and this is one of those, um, like my friend uh, Tony over at the Mediocre Review said one time, and <coughs> he rated it as 9.999999 to infinity. 
this is one of those um, I don't normally round up but um, this one I'm gonna this is a 10 I'm seriously the uh, Boulevard love child number four even fresh like this it's just stellar but I mean they, they like I said they bred they aged some of them 16 months to six years so I mean there's some there's some uh, serious barrel aging going on in here and those notes are coming out and the whiskey notes are coming out and this is just a just a stellar beer um, I want to I want again I want to thank all my subscribers 1300 plus so wish I could share a beer with all of you but man would I be drunk uh, but uh, anyway I know I never will I'll never get to meet most of you but uh, you guys are what makes it all worthwhile so uh, 10 out of 10 for the Boulevard love child number four uh, if you see it grab it because you'll never see it again till next time everybody cheers let's keep drinking good beers